Skip this video at your own risk. 74 chapters, 6 chapters that you study can give you 40% from just 7 math chapters. So ma'am, should I not study PU 1 then? A very big hello to my wonderful KCET champions. I hope all my dear children are doing super great. So one very important thing before I begin up, that is skip this video at your own risk. This video is going to be super important. Do not even have the thought of not watching it. And you will get to know why. So now let me come back to the scenario where I and you are on the same page. Suppose we both are students. And I have 74 chapters in front of me to crack KCET examination and to get into the top engineering colleges of Karnataka. First of all, I'll get stuck at a position where I heard 74 chapters because you know that's a big number. And for those of you who are wondering how 74, then please understand your PU2 and PU1 syllabus put together 37 plus 37, excluding biology, it will be 74 chapters that you have to complete. Now, since I am also in your same position, I am also thinking like a student, the first thing that I would have in my head is that, how on earth would I be able to complete these 74 chapters all at one go? I have my PU2 board examination coming around. I have my summer other entrance examination out there. How will I manage things? And that's when this video is going to help you out. So my dear children, I always tell, I always, always tell you that there is uh, two ways of working. Okay, one is working hard and the other one is working smart. Some people say that you should only work smart and not hard. I do not say that. I say you should mix both of them. Okay, we should be doing hard work along with smart work. Hard work alone might not give you enough results, especially when you talk about a competitive examination. This is about speed and accuracy. You have to be smart enough how to deal with it. And I am here with a plan like that. So it goes like this. But before I get into the video, if at all you think that, ma'am, I am ready to do the hard work and smart work, Put one thing down in the comment section right now and that is I will crack KCET 2026. The 74 chapters which are there in front of me, I will complete it tactically. I will have a smart strategy. If at all you believe that, if at all you believe that there will be something in this video that is going to help you, then put this comment down. And my dear children, when you put this comment down, make sure you're giving that promise to yourself and make sure you're working really hard and smart for it. This should not be just a random comment out there. And in this video, you're gonna get a quick little surprise as well. So stay tuned for that. So first question that I have is, can you believe that 40% of your KCET physics questions come from just six chapters? Yes, you heard me correct. So basically, if you talk about PU2 itself, you have so many chapters in physics, and then you have PU1. Now you see a total number of chapters, it's huge, right? And I'm telling you, six chapters that you study can give you 40% of answer, 40 percent of questions answer in your KCT physics paper then? Will you believe me? Well, you have to because we have analyzed past five years question papers and these are those six chapters. Current electricity, electric charges and fields, moving charges and magnetism, ray optics and optical instruments, electrostatic potential and capa capacitance and also alternating current. Now, my dear children, when I say all this thing, the six chapters give you 40% of questions, I mean that you should be begin up, beginning up with these six chapters. I told you it's about smart work and hard work. So usually what we do is that we try to complete the syllabus thinking that an examination has all the, the whole syllabus, that is PU2 plus PU1. So I should be completing that. No. 
you should be prioritizing the chapters that will be giving you more amount of marks such that if at all you complete these chapters you are in the safe zone now to some extent and now you go ahead with the other chapters which are of medium weightage right and then probably you might have not got enough time you might be busy with your examination after the examination you can focus on the low weightage chapters but at least you are still safe because you have completed the most high weightage topics so if at all you are someone who is in your pu2 as of now you know what are the chapters that you need to prioritize over here for your kcet preparation as well over here, if you see the number of questions, six from current electricity, for almost all these years, six to seven, one year only it gave four questions. Apart from that, all of these years, six to seven questions. And my dear children, all of it goes like that, four, 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 or probably five, sometimes three, sometimes four, all of it. So these chapters are super important. And now the next important chapters comes over here. And those are this, starting from magnetism and matter and going ahead to atom. Now over here, the thing about atom that I've seen is that some year it has given you three questions alternatively. Every alternative year, there is three questions, but that is just a guest's work, OK? Probably this year, there might be three questions or just one, we never know. But anyway, none of the PU2 chapters are left. All from all the chapters, you get questions. And anyway, you're studying for your PU2 boards. So, so please study hard and smart over here, such that these many marks which you can actually score from PU2, you get those marks. Okay, so I think uh, the sum was 37. 37, some, all of them up, 37 questions were there alone from your PU2. Okay, and experiment questions were also there, three of them, two questions from PU2 and one was from PU1 anyways. So three marks here for experiments. So 37 plus three is equals to 40 questions. You can imagine like that. Now we move ahead with the next set of chapters. So ma'am, should I not study PU1 then, if at all that's the case? In that case, this is the answer that I have for you. Don't study only if you want to miss the 19 marks. So these chapters, my dear children, these are so many chapters, but all together put together, they give 19 marks. So ma'am, how should I study? As I said, start from the beginning, the ones that are important, complete those. This can make you ahead of so many other competitors that you might have. You get it? Start from those, complete your PU2 then, and then come to your PU1. Or if at all you have time, Please mix some chat puffs. For example, you can take this chapter motion in a plane in between while you study PU2 chapters. You can pull in one or this one or this one. So the ones that I have marked here, my dear children, the, these chapters uh, have given you questions every single year. Okay, every single year, almost two or one, two or one. The same goes with here, units and measurement and motion in a straight line. And also this one, thermodynamics. These chapters have given you question every single year. So you can expect some questions coming around from them. If at all, you are not able to complete the entire syllabus somehow. I wish that does not happen to you guys. But if at all, you're not at that particular point of time, at least remember, these are the chapters that you definitely have to do. You get it? So this is the tactic that I was telling you. And my dear children, if at all you think that it makes sense. Now suppose, okay, why is this video important? Because suppose I do not know all this thing and probably I start with a chapter which is nuclei or semiconductor electronics or basically dual nature of radiation and matter. Basically, my dear children, you are working for two marker, two marker, two marker. There are so many chapters which are giving you more than that. So shouldn't you complete that first? Obviously, yes. Okay. And as I said, it gives you marks. So in totality, it was almost 27, 24 marks that you got from these six chapters itself, okay? In physics. Now going ahead with the next subject that you have, and that is mathematics. And over here, what if 50% of questions, 50% of questions showed off from just seven math chapters that you have already studied? What if you study it more harder, more smarter? you would be sure that I will get those 50% of questions. I'll get those marks. So seven chapters is equals to 30 questions. So 30 questions, 30 questions out of 60 questions is equals to 50 percentage, right? So over here, my dear children, those are the seven chapters that you have, starting with continuity and differentiability, matrices, integrals, determinants, three-dimensional geometry, and vector algebra, and also probability part two. Okay, that other one is in PU1. 
So these are the chapters. You see the flow throughout the years. It has maintained it le maintain its league. Make sure you study these chapters first. These are super important. If you think they are difficult, please watch some one shot video. It's there in our channel. It is going to help you out. And now one very important announcement since I was speaking about this. So my dear children, you all know, you all probably might know, we uh, basically gave KC90 crash course. Okay, we gave KC90 crash course. The first class was on December, sorry, November 1. The class started off and children are really, really happy. Almost 4.5 plus, sorry, 92 percent children has written 4.5 plus for our course. That means it is that useful. And we also saw a lot of comments saying that we could not enroll. So we were thinking that should we do something around it for the children who were not able to enroll? What do you think? Do you have anything in your head? Do you also want to join the course or what is it like? Let me know in the comment section, but I am really, really excited to tell you something is going to come up tomorrow. So subscribe to the channel for getting the understanding what is going to be there. Well, this particular crash course, uh, for those of you who do not know, includes KCET and Comet K preparation, both of them, because both of these, uh, what do you call, ex uh, exams are super important for your admissions into the, what do you call, the best engineering colleges of Karnataka. Over here, you get one shot lectures of all the chapters, you get the PYQ lectures, you get the PYQ quiz, you get extra DPPs, all very important PDFs, everything will be included in this particular crash course. So if at all you are someone who feels that I do not know how to cover the whole thing or how will I be able to manage things, I think this particular course would be best for you. And as I said, I am going to bring something up tomorrow, so you have to stay tuned for that. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button for getting all the updates. And what do you guys think? Do you also want to enroll? Do we need to do something around it as well? Put it down in the comment section right now. Okay. So yes, we'll go ahead with this information. So the next set of chapters are this. Now inverse trigonometric functions, from here you did not get direct questions, but uh, what do you call, you had to use their applications in certain other questions out there, which is why the two is bracketed over here. So these are the chapters that are super important. Please begin up from this. And now if you talk about PU1, PU1 gave 18 marks the previous year. These were the chapters. The super important chapters, I have marked it in yellow color such that you have a clarity on it. Please make sure you're covering these topics first. Okay. And my dear children, do you want a PDF also? If at all, yes, let me know that as well. Whatever you need, tell me. Listen, we are here to help you out. And this is why we go around, analyze all the papers and give you the information. There is no other motive behind it. So make sure if at all you need something and if at all we can do it, we'll definitely make sure we do it. Okay? So you need the PDF, let us know. Anyways, going ahead, studied all eight chapters of PU2, then you have already got 40 marks. Guess, guess what is the subject? Well, it's chemistry. In chemistry, we all know, my dear children, if at all you have studied all your PU2 chapters completely, then this is going to give you 40 marks. So starting with, uh, just a second, okay? Yeah, not eight, but 10. Not eight, but 10, yes, here also 10. So 10 chapters is equals to 40 marks. This is super crazy. This have not happened in any other subjects as of now, but over here it has happened and this is super important. Solutions, five, chemical kinetics, five, DMF block, five, coordination compounds, four, haloalkanes, four, all of it contains at least three to five marks. Okay, and that is not at all a small deal. That means if at all you study your PU2 chemistry nicely, you are easily going to score those 40 marks out of 60 in your chemistry paper. And that, as I said, all these small marks, you might feel that it's so tiny little marks out there. Does it count? Okay, it's okay. But my dear children, it's a competitive examination. I'm reminding you again, all these marks count, even one mark 
counts over here. So make sure you're thriving for that and you're working smartly. Okay, and you have an aim that yes, these are the chapters that I have to cover at first. So make sure you do that, my dear children. It's going to be super helpful for you. Chemistry as a whole, PU2 is super, super important. Prioritize it first. And if we talk about PU1, it gives almost 17 marks. Now the extra marks, whichever are lost, it's basically experiment related questions out there. So in PU1, my dear children, these are the topics that you need to cover on priority. Okay, so chemical bonding and molecular structure, thermodynamics, equilibrium, structure of atom, hydrocarbons, super important. Make sure you cover all these topics on first priority. Okay? Now going ahead, I do not want to stretch the video, which is why I'm not talking a lot, but yes. And also subject wise, all the teachers would be coming along to tell a lot more about it. Now does biology follow the same trend? Sadly, I should say no, because uh, uh, over here you have multiple chapters, okay, and uh, you know, you have to study a bit more harder for biology, it's more about theory. But yes, the good part of the story is that majority, at least 9 out of 13 chapters gives 3 marks. So this is a huge number, it's not giving 1 or 2 marks, giving you 3 marks, that, that's not a small deal, right? So 9 chapters, 3 marks, kudos, right? So over here, starting from, uh, what do you call, sexual reproduction and flowering plants to biotechnology and application, all of them gave three marks. But let me tell you, my dear children, I saw a different trend this time, that is usually molecular base of inheritance and variation was carrying five, 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 five until all these years. Now this year, 2025, it was three marker, but I do not expect that to happen again. I probably think that this year it might be giving you four to five marks again. Okay, principles on the uh, principles of inheritance and variation on the other hand gave continuously five four five four things like that and rest all the chapters are important so again if I say uh, PU2 is super important all the chapters are also super important just like chemistry you need to cover them okay so it will definitely give you some good amount of marks it was close to 40 marks that means again that is 66 percentage of your entire paper so make sure you follow it Okay, and the chapters that I have highlighted, uh, this surely gives you three, four, five marks. Okay, this surely gives you either three or four or five. So these three chapters, super important, study them on priority. Now going ahead with the other set of chapters, PU1, my dear children. Now over here, the trend I have noticed is that only one chapter was there, breathing uh, an exchange of gases, which did not give any questions until now. Just all of them gave one, one, two, or things like that. Now, which chapters are super important in PU1? Quite difficult to analyze that because we see different trends every single year. But following one particular thing, that is every single year, is it giving a question? I have taken those chapters and have colored them. And also, if at all, a chapter give two questions. So that means that chapter could also be important. So over here, anyway, cell, the unit of life, cell cycle and cell division is super important because as you can see, it has given few number of questions every single year except one year. Now, if at all, you see plant kingdom, animal kingdom and morphology of flowering plants, every single year they have also given question. Only one year plant kingdom did not give a question. Now, go going ahead with body fluids and uh, circulation, again, gave you uh, what do you call questions every single year. So what do you understand from all this information is that the chapters which gives you continuous marks, you have to make sure that over here, you need to cover them on priority. Okay, super, super important. So that's the thing that I wanted to tell you. And that's all. If you think that this video made sense to you guys, if you think that you have got a direction now, let me know in the comment section and as I said, something very big is gonna come tomorrow. Stay tuned. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button and my dear children, share this piece of information with your friends as well, those who are preparing for KCET. Wishing you all the best. Lots of love from Jasmine Ma'am. Bye-bye. Take care.